Capricorn. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q and I am here to do your general reading. Go on, take a little peeky peek, see what's coming in, what's going on, what's going on with my beloved Earth sign energy. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I will you all are blessed and highly favored. We're going to take a peek. Um, you all are dealing with the same energy. We are going through a lot right now celestially it's beautiful energy uh change is in the air shifts are taking place um and so we're going to tap in like i said and proceed with the read see what we got coming in okay so let's see what we have so i'm going to use for your reading the um dark grimoire so i've used different cards for all different signs that I've read for and now it is your turn beloveds so what we have on the bottom of the deck is we have the Sun so we have the Sun and the Sun is illuminating the Sun represents strength the Sun represents a new day the dawning of a new day a new beginning this is a time for change for transformations for shifts especially with the Scorpio uh, full moon as well as the Pluto being in retrograde it's really a time of regeneration transformation um, so some of you all with the Sun um, you're seeing something uh, for the first time there's some sort of happy ending or a happy outcome uh, that you have been manifesting or that you have manifested we have um, India I read and this is called magic uh, so I do feel like you all have been uh, you know channeling your inner magi uh, so let's see what the cards have to say. So on the split, we have the high priest. Oh, the empress. So that's beautiful. Channeling your inner magi. So you are definitely owning your power. You know who you are. The empress is the divine feminine. People are talking about you. People got a lot to say about you. They're very much attracted to you. They see you in your power. You, you may hear whisperings, um, you know, of, uh, you know, how... Uh, someone may like you. Maybe you'll find out that someone has some sort of crush or someone is a secret admirer. I feel that you are seen as very beautiful, uh, very magical, very radiant energy. If you're masculine, um, just someone very, you know, dapper, very debonair, someone very strong willed. Um, I do feel like people are uh, singing your praises. So maybe you're going to be recognized for something with this sun and the empress. I do feel like um, you have a lot of success. I just feel like, you know, Capricorn, you are you work very hard. Uh, sometimes they say you overwork. But I feel like whatever you're working on is bringing in success. It's bringing in wish fulfillment or blessings. So I have a card that kind of flew in the wrong direction. So these are bonuses. We have the uh, Knight of Wands. So this is something coming in very quickly. Um, I feel you're taking action. I feel that there's a sense of like you are um, going after what you want relentlessly. It doesn't matter. So you may have a goal in mind that you're um, embarking upon or that you are um, that you are, you know, that you're in, in, in um, embarking upon. And it's like it, it's like you're, you're taking no prisoners is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. We have the Ten of Swords. So perhaps there was some deception in the past and now you see things clearly because if you look, you know, this ten of wands, he appears to be like, you know, striking his uh, his staff and it's kind of breaking up these little it looks like snakes. But if you look here, it's that same tentacle type of energy. So it's almost like you've had some sort of epiphany. So something that could have um, had you kind of confused and conflicted. Maybe there was some energy of, um, you know, maybe you felt like you was under some sort of spell or maybe someone was definitely like flighty in and out, rushing in passionately, then exiting without a without any warning. Um, they played that game a lot. So this was a very unreliable energy, maybe a game, you know, somebody who had game or was a player. Um, this caused a lot of angst, a lot of frustration. Some of you all were sleeping with the energy, um, the energy, sleeping with the enemy. And then you finally kind of felt your energy shifting uh, when you were around this person. So maybe they betrayed you or they did something. This is a two faced individual. Because if you look here, this there's two heads attached to this monster. So this is someone very two faced. Uh, maybe they spoke out the side of their mouth. 
you know, with this um, Capricorn energy, that's the devil. So maybe you could, could have been dealing with someone who was very toxic, very deceptive. I just get deception because this Ten of Swords is like feeling like you were stabbed in the back or somebody betrayed you or someone took your kindness for weakness. You felt taken advantage of. And this was a monster that kind of grew um, bigger than you anticipated. This is someone you, you know, may have shared a home with. This could have even been someone who was very egotistical. Uh, but I do feel a sense of like there being an ending now. Um, moving away from that energy. Yeah, you're looking back in awareness. You're looking at things. You see how this person is here in an alley and he's looking out. Those same tentacles that we just saw on these two cards are kind of like in the shadow. So it's showing you what has these people that appear to be like in a cult, you know, almost like they're being controlled by these monsters. So there could have been manipulation uh, or sabotage. The five of pentacles is feeling like left out in the cold, but you're not really left out in the cold. Rejection is always for your protection and now you're able to see yourself um, from the outside looking you know you know from the outside looking in and if you look these individuals appear to be controlled uh, maybe there was a form of manipulation uh, maybe there was a bunch of people who were trying uh, to control a situation or maybe um, a lot of competition a lot of conflict uh, but you're able you're able now to see um, there is, you know, like a bottle. So some of you could have had some sort of addictions or afflictions. Maybe you are under the influence. And now that you have uh, been clean or you've been, um, you know, you know, at, you, you've been kind of like um, not indulging in in alcohol or not indulging in drinking smoking um even sex even if this is like an incubus succubus relationship uh when you kind of weaned yourself off of this this is when you started to get the clarity um and you're seeing something very clearly here uh so what you're attracting to you is that we see the five of pentacles so i do feel like there is a sense of like some sort of epiphany we have roy airs and this is called um virgin ubiquity and this was made in 1976 so that is seven seven and seven seven in the numerology deck that i have is spirituality so i do feel like there was uh an, a, an opportunity for you to uh you know really grow personally um and psychically you know you started to trust your intuition but the five is also about learning um and maturing um, learning from your experiences, learning from heartache, learning from loss, and then doing things differently moving forward. So even if you felt rejected and abandoned, um, it was always for your protection because now you could see things clearly. Uh, these hooded people that represent fugazis, fakes, that could be people that were not being real and authentic. And so with the seven, seven, I feel like uh, maybe someone deceived you because that 14 reduces to five. Maybe someone was dishonest in their form of communication. And maybe that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Uh, maybe you felt betrayed because you discovered the truth. So let's tap and tune in, my beautiful Capricorn. Let's see who is our beautiful, who or what is our beautiful Capricorn attracting to them. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Who or what is our beautiful Capricorn attracting to them? And I'm going to take those cards as well. And so we have here the four of chalices. So this is definitely someone who has regrets, feeling like they've missed an opportunity. There definitely was a tower that has already taken place. So you've had some sort of ending. And that ending was, in fact, this ten of swords experience. So whatever that was, that tower that crumbled to the ground, whoever that was, they have regrets now. They have regrets and they may be trying to manifest you maybe trying to manifest you back into their life or this could just be your energy you're you're manifesting something new you've created boundaries from these individuals those same tentacles and snakes it's like you have a fiery impenetrable wall of protection because you now know your worth you know your value you know your power as a magi you know that you could co-create with source and set your intention and create your reality with this four of pentacles someone's holding on to you so I feel deep regret. And if you look at the mouth, there's no communication. I feel there's no communication. And someone could be suffering in silence. Someone could also be under some sort of spell work. Because you see these two demonic energies or these two entities here. So it's like this person is holding on to something very near and dear. It could be love because there's a chalice uh, on the nightstand and he's holding on to this book. 
So it's almost as if someone has taken their secrets to the grave with them, or someone is secretly um, desiring, lusting after someone, but they're not expressing it, or they, they may feel like they can't express it. And with that 7-7, seven, seven, like I said, that breaks down to 14, so that's 5, so that's communication. Someone that's not communicating with you or someone that's not communicating um, their feelings, their emotions, someone that has deep regret, remorse. With the Four of Chalices, there could have been some sort of uh, entanglement, third party, someone extra, like a you know little kickstand in the mix. And now there's regrets. Look how he's just sitting there holding his head. This person could be thinking of you constantly, perhaps trying to manifest you back into their life. Maybe they're thinking of you so much that you could be picking up on this person's energy. Maybe during this full moon, uh, there will be communication. Maybe there will be a dream. But something is going to clue you in on how someone feels uh, like they have a missed opportunity here. And again, with that 7-7 seven, seven that I got from 1976, I'm getting a sense that this is, uh, you know, it's someone who's uh, communicating or des desiring to communicate or communication is has some, some profound um, bearing on this situation, whether there's a lack thereof. And I feel that's exactly what it is, because if you look at his mouth, it's so shut. So they're not expressing something. It's almost like they almost are like just kind of holding on to this this memory, this memory of you. Maybe they have pictures that they look at. Maybe they have communication, whether it be a text that they constantly read or an email they constantly look at or a picture. It's like this is what holds the, and 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 it's like they're it's almost like they're malnourished. So they could be going through depression, but I definitely hear suffering in silence. And so this is someone from your past, and that's that same reminiscent energy, reminiscing, see the same tower, see the, see the same energy. This could be you and this person kind of reminiscing and missing one another. So maybe there was someone who came in between a connection. Someone was very deceptive. They were deceived, betrayed. It was something that they were feeding. They were feeding lies. You know, they were feeding the lie, feeding the illusion, and it, illusion, and it just grew big. Whoever they were with, they were with someone flighty. Whether this was your energy or someone else. It was with someone flighty, someone unreliable, someone that didn't reciprocate. And I feel like someone finally took action and left something or someone behind. That's why we had uh, that card which showed someone having regrets. And I also am getting a sense of like, um, even this energy where, you know, as I said, uh, maybe someone is dreaming of you, thinking of you, but this, this, this like a mirroring effect because seven, seven also is a mirrored number. And whenever I see mirrored numbers, I always feel like that's the person or someone, you know, an energy that's uh, kind of mirroring yours. It's like, it's a mirror. It's like they're re kind of reflecting whatever it is. And, and we got uh, Miles Davis and John Coltrane kind of blue playing. So this is a very melancholy, melancholy energy. Someone's very saddened. You know, very melancholy thinking of the past. And the Six of Cups, this is someone that walked away. This is someone that definitely chose another option, thought there was, the grass would be greener on the other side. They thought what was glittering was gold, and it wasn't. That's powerful. And what's hidden in the energy um, is we have the sun here. So there is someone that is uh, realizing the joy and the happiness that someone brings them or they're having some sort of clarity as to what they feel. It's it's illuminating everything that was once hidden. All of these gooblins and goblins, whatever you call them, demons, they're all coming out of the crevices. So it's like this person can now see whoever this, this these, you know, this farce, whatever this fakeness, whatever this, this negative energy was, it's like now they see it clearly. That tower that fell, that same tower that's here, whoever they had that tower with, maybe someone, um, I was definitely getting like um, uh, with the five of pentacles that we have, I was getting like someone, remember we saw that five of pentacles, I was getting like someone definitely rejected you, or maybe someone felt rejected, maybe you felt rejected, and spirit was like that was for your protection, so you shouldn't feel um, anything other than 
you know, peace with wherever you are. Peace with whatever it is you may even have at this time. So someone's having an epiphany. This is someone that you did have an ending with because they're having some sort of a, an epiphany here. I'm feeling strong, um, strong like someone is finally seeing something clearly. They daydream about you. This is someone that daydreams. They don't express how they feel. They don't say what they feel. They don't express the love. Is that chalice there is showing that they still have love? This is that person that's holding on to you because this is the four of pentacles. So they're still holding on to you, still holding on to this connection, even carrying you in their spirit with their thoughts. That's definitely, you know, um, someone who you may be picking up on intuitively. And with this sun here, you know, there's a sense of uh, the truth, you know, or even just a happy ending, a happy outcome, and also seeing things for what they truly are. Things that may have been hidden in the past. You know, now it's becoming very clear. Someone could have been very closed minded as well. And they were closed minded because maybe they were dealing with a lot of um, deception. Maybe they was dealing with something that, you know, someone could have been gaslighting. A master manipulator. Very conniving energy. And maybe you are in some sort of love, uh, like a... Maybe this is like twin flame. Maybe you're coming into union with your divine counterpart because you are mirroring one another, you know, even in your emotion. And with uh, Miles Davis and uh, John Coltrane, maybe you're dealing with someone named Miles Davis or uh, John Coltrane, first, middle, and last. Maybe you love jazz. Maybe that is uh, a music that you and this person, you both love jazz music. But it does speak to, you know, if you were dealing with maybe depression or sadness, maybe now there's, you know, there is, uh, you know, some uh, light at the end of that tunnel. So if you were doing that shadow work, I feel like there's light at the end of the tunnel, which is the sun. Because this does look like a tunnel or a cave that you are going through. And all these demons and that stuff is being exposed now. So what was hidden is now being exposed. What you didn't know, you will find out. Hence this Ten of Swords. So you now know who your enemies are, frenemies are. You now know who the haters are. People hate what they can't duplicate. So you can, could have had people who were kind of like almost trying to um, shun you, steal your ideas. Maybe they've put some sort of spell work, you know, to try to block a blessing or block an opportunity. Maybe even block love. But this Four of, coin, um, four of um, Chalices here, I do feel like... You, you're, you and another person are kind of longing. I get a longing for one another, Capricorn. So what is the outcome for my beautiful Capricorn? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, Spirit. And so we have this 10. What is that? The 10 of Wands. So you're climbing out of whatever this, this, this lie. Because if you look at the mouth, there's a lot of lies, deception, communication is, um, you know, deceptive even. And it's like, you see how he's climbing out of it? So he was, you know, whoever this is, whether this is someone that's coming towards you, because the outcome is someone is coming out of, uh, it looks like this could even be the mouth. If you look at that, that could look, you know, he, this could be showing the inside and this is the outside of the cave he's escaping from because this is the sun. So, you know, coming out of that dark night of the soul journey where there was a lot of lies, deception, tricknology. This is a chapter of your life that you have dealt with um, for quite some time. And these were people, like I said, that were two-faced. So they could have smiled in your face, but were talking ill, you know, defaming your character. These were people that were even talking holes in your head, you know, words of spells, spells bind. So maybe these are people that were wishing you bad or saying things that were very harmful and it was very burdensome, you know, the weight that you carry, whatever you dealt with, it was very burdensome. And if you look here, this is a wish fulfillment for you, the star. You will heal from this Capricorn, whoever these are, these individuals are, I do feel like um, you will become very clear. Maybe you've already discovered because this cycle, this chapter right now that is closing, we are going through major changes and transformations right now with the celestial energy. Your secret haters, you know, will be exposed and you will, you know, come out of a situation much happier, much lighter. Uh, and this was all a part of um, your healing process. It was a part of your journey. 
you have to learn to uh and there's a there is a siren going by whenever i hear sirens i feel like that's a forewarning so just trust your intuition continue to remain hopeful and op optimistic walk in faith not by sight i'm hearing that very loud in my mind's eye and we have um boys in the hood uh, I said boys in the hood, boys to men, and this is uh, Please Don't Go is the name of the song. So someone is going to be trying to keep you stuck. That's what this is. This, this it, when you, They're going to try to convince you that they want you to stay. But this is the same gaslighting, master manipulating fool, you know, that you was broke free from to begin with. So this is that same deceptive energy. They're trying to convince you, you know, please don't go. You know, we love you with boys to men. They're trying to convince you that they have matured, that they've grown up. And um, I feel like that is a trap because I feel you have some sort of wish fulfillment. Uh, I feel like you have someone that's coming in that's especially meant for you because this is something or someone that you have manifested. I feel you've also learned uh, to be independent, to be self-sufficient. Um, I feel you've healed, you've grounded yourself. You found that sense of equilibrium. And for that, um, you know, look at that death card there. So major changes and shifts, cycles ending, something coming full circle and wishes, you know, wishes being granted here. So, you know, during the season, whatever you've worked for, you know, it's like it's it's absolutely uh, going to garner some sort of um, some sort of expansion in your life. Uh, I do feel like your prayers are going to be answered. Uh, Capricorn, I feel like whatever you've been asking for, um, even if it's monetary, even if it's uh, material, uh, it's coming. There's there's something uh, something coming to light, or maybe even someone who uh, is your your wish fulfillment that you've been manifesting. Uh, but first, you have to cut yourself free from this karmic lesson. So you have two tens. And whenever I see double numbers, remember, uh, I always feel like that's the person or whomever you are dealing with that is mirroring your energy. So you've gone through deception and lies and trickery and your person is mirroring you by escaping the same harsh uh, treatment wherever they are. But this is also leading to the fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, wish fulfillment. You've been calling this in. It's like I feel like spirit, the universe is bringing in a true love uh, based off the stirrings within your own heart, based off of whatever you are manifesting and, and, and co-creating with source. Uh, so your vulnerabilities, you have turned them into your superpower. So, you know, whatever lies and trickery, whatever pain you've experienced, you've learned to turn that pain that you felt into power. So that's beautiful, Capricorn. And that is your reading. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload and subscribe if you feel so inclined. To anyone that may be returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Till next time. Peace.